Okay, so I'll explain this in detail, put Mark around. Um, I'm in the gym, not warmed up, stiff as an old boot. And I was thinking I need to do front splits. I've got a fairly good front splits, but my feet are buggered. Too much climbing ladders. So, big toe joint, I can't do the front splits. When I do front splits, which is a reasonable split, I can't go forward and put my head on my knee. And I never thought that was a problem because a lot of people that do the splits have to lean forward because the back hip isn't flexible. And I'm thinking, well, you want that flexibility in the back hip for your back kicks and your side kicks. So I'm quite happy with what I got. But I think the flexibility I need to I need to put my head on my knee in front splits and I've never really done it. So sitting on the floor, legs apart, and get my head on either knee quite quickly by running meridians. Seems to work a treat and it stayed. It's not a one-off. Sometimes you get a one-off. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing, but I'm gonna isolate one leg. I'm going to stick a leg on this windowsill in the gym which is just below my solar plexus height. So I'm going to stick my leg, stick my foot on the windowsill and stretch forward. Now I've never been able to put my head on my knee in that position. It's totally different from sat on the floor stuff. I don't know why, but it is. So I'm just going to get on with it and then see if running the meridians helps stuff. Like I said, I'm not warmed up, I'm stiff and I've uh, got growly old man. So here we go, so I'm sticking right leg on the windowsill. <laughs> oh, that's tight. <laughs> so I'm nowhere near that. Oh God, that's tight. I'm nowhere near that knee at all. I can, I can touch my foot, okay? I can reach with the same side hand. Now with the left hand, I'm not reaching that foot, okay? So I can only reach it with one hand. So it's a reasonable front kick, I suppose. And that, that hamstring's tight. So we need to run the meridians. Now the thing is, I can run the meridians in the leg with it in this position, whereas I'm doing the splits, I can't. So maybe this is a bonus having a bad foot. So we want to look at the meridian. So down the centre at the top of the leg, the start meridian, which runs down. Down the outside of the leg, gallbladder meridian, which runs down. Underneath the back of the leg, running down, there's a bladder meridian. So up the centre you've got spleen, kidney, and liver. Comes up. So I can go down the top, and up the inside. I can go down the gallbladder and up the inside. I'm going to test oh, a tiny bit. So, oh, yeah, got the left hand to the foot, so something's happened. But I'm thinking the bladder meridian might be the, the daddy for this one. So I want to run down and up the inside, so we're going down the back of the leg and up the inside. That hamstring's still tight. But then, if you haven't been there before, oh, it's working. <laughs> two hands on the foot, two hands on the foot, stretch the calf muscle, and I'm about a foot, he knows it's a foot away from the knee, so it's, it's, it's relaxed a little bit. And like I was saying in the other videos, normally do massage, isometrics, breathing, relaxation, blah, 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 stretching different muscle groups to get reflected relaxation. I just want to run meridians to see what happens. So now I'm switching to the left leg. And maybe once we get to a good range of motion, running the meridians in that position might reset the end stop, so to speak, so that we can get there quicker next time and then develop mental stretch and get further. So, left leg's going up now. Mm, nearly went up. <laughs> Chicken up the 
begin, right, we're up there. Okay, so left hand on the left foot, right hand can't reach for toffee. So we're going to start and run the meridians. So we're going to go down the stomach and up the inside of the leg. And we're going to go down the gallbladder up the inside. And we're going to go down the bladder, down the bladder meridian up the inside. effect by doing that where we wanted to put head on the knee sat on the floor so we'll see if that helps so right legs going up <coughs> okay so um, we can run meridians by going down the inside of the hand and up the back to go down pericardium and up triple warmer so I'm doing that on the left side now, and I'm switching to the right side. Down the pericardium, up triple warmer. Let's have a stretch. Oh, yeah, that's pretty right. About an inch away from my nose on my knee. Back's bent, I'm not perfect, I'm not a young athlete, so this is working quite well. Yeah, so let's stretch the calf muscle. Now I'm going to ring the meridians. So I'm going to take the hands and ring them like a bell and get the energy flowing in the pericardium triple warmer like we did in one of the last videos. There it is. And I should imagine that'll make a good energy punch. So have a stretch. Just about touched my head to my knee, cheated a little bit, just about there. So I'm going to swap back to the other left leg. straight on the bladder meridian so it comes out the little toe so I want to be down this time drink out the little toe you can cook the inside and we've got two hands on the foot so that's all good and we're going towards the knee that's a little tight so I'll stay at maximum stretch and run the meridians again so we want to go down the bladder Don't forget trap nerves in the lower back, sciatic nerve, all kinds of stuff can mess this up. Trap nerves in the calf muscle. So we've made quite a bit of progress, but we're not quite there. So let's go back to the right leg. And I want my head on the knee. And then we'll go back to the left again and finish. And I'll do some traditional stretching off camera and retest. So right side, little calf muscle stretch. Ding the meridians in the arms. And here we go. Right, heads on the knee. Not, not pretty, <laughs> but it's there. <laughs> so two hands to the foot quite easily. And if I can do that in a split position, I'll be very, very happy. Um, I've not been that far before, so hopefully I can get that far again. And with the traditional stretching that I do, maybe I can go and do some de developmental stretching, which I'll do in a minute off camera. So back to left leg, trying to get head on the knee for this one now. So we're up, good stretch of the calf muscle. Okay. Oh yeah. Heads on knee, right, so a little bit of progress. So I'm going to switch off, do my traditional stuff and then recheck. And maybe we've got a new end stop. Thank you very much. Oh, and if this running meridian larky, malarkey doesn't work for you, 
common denominator is you might have the right energy in the meridians. If you do the Qi Kung I do, you energize the meridians and it makes a big difference to static strength, resistance to pressure points, resistance to joint locks, all kinds of stuff. And you get some big oaks, touch them on lung five and they drop to the floor. Do a little bit of Qi Kung, nothing. Center lock, squeal, down you go. A little bit of Qi Kung, don't work. So, try it and see. Thank you very much.